Hi everybody, I'm Omid and I come back with another amazing Power Query tip. Today we are going to talk about table.add column and discover its amazing feature. This is related to challenge number 95 which is posted on my LinkedIn and you can go there and find a wide range of solution provided for these questions. The solution provided inside the Excel, DAX, Power Query, R, Python, and other software. But we are going to solve this problem by using Power Query. The challenge is related to the product inventory value. And we are going to extract the last inventory for each product. The inventory level in different months provided in different columns. And the value for the last column should be extracted and presented. I provide two different solutions for this challenge. The first one is based on unpivoting the columns, but the second one is amazing and don't miss it. By looking at this data, the simplest way to solve this problem, it might be right-clicking on the column product and say unpivot other columns. And then right-click on the product column and group the value. At the beginning, let's use count rows as an operation, which result in this formula, including three parameters for the table.group. First is the name of previous steps that we are going to summarize its data. Second is the name of column that we are going to group the value based on that column. And third, which is important, is the operation. It means that uh, let's call the name of new column as a con. Let's change it to the last inventory. It's mentioned that operation should be these and the type of result is in type number. We do not need this. Instead of using this operation, let's write underscore and see the results. It's presented there data for each group in type table out of all the values inside this table we just need the last one so let's say we need the value on the column values it's result it's convert the table into the list including all the values on that column and we just need the last one so write list dot last and press enter it's going to present the last inventory of each product by using table.group and on pivoting but by knowing the feature inside the table.add custom column you do not need to use such advanced function you can easily solve the problem so back to the example and add a custom column at the beginning let, let's call it the last inventory inventory at the beginning i just put underscore here and see the results it present the result in type record including all the values for that row so for the first one it's record include fields product equal to a john equal to 89 equal to 93 and the same for other rows for example for this one it's result in a record including all the values for this row it is hard to extract the last non null values from the record so i prefer to convert this record to the list by using record the to list Based on this function, it's going to pre present all the values in each row in type list. At the beginning, we need to remove the null value because for this result, the last value would be null. So let's remove the null values by using list.remove nulls. And then it just need to use list.last to extract the last item. So write list.last to extract the last item by using this amazing feature of custom function. 